The Path Analysis module is really an exploratory tool that allows you to uncover the unknown. For example, in a funnel, you see your users dropping off from one step to the next, and you want to know where did they go since they didn't do the next step in the funnel. Are they bouncing from the site, or are they going somewhere that wasn't expected? The first thing you will decide when building this report will be the type of activity you see in your report. Do you want to see both page views and defined events, just page views, or just defined events? Something to keep in mind here is if you include defined events, this analysis will only be as good as the defined events in your heap account. The second decision you will make is do you want to see the paths from your event or into your event? From will show where users are going after your desired event and into will show you where users are coming from before the event. And finally, go ahead and select the event you are hoping to analyze. If you choose to filter this report, you can filter only by user properties, behavioral properties, or segments so you can just see how particular groups of users are performing in this path analysis. Additionally, the group by query modifier is intentionally more limited and you could only group by page view properties. Finally, go ahead and choose the date range in which you wish to analyze your path. By default, Heap sets this to the previous seven days, since this analysis module can potentially become a little overwhelming with a larger date range. When you run this query, you will see the 10 most common events or page views that are taken leading into or after your desired event. Here we are looking at the most common paths taken after someone views a video. As you move your cursor over the different columns, you will see which page view or events occurred most frequently at the top and the less common actions at the bottom. Although we don't see it here, if you see a box called other at the bottom, that simply means there's such a low number of people taking different actions, they have been bundled together. If you want to see what those actions are, however, simply click into the box and it will break out all of the other options. Additionally, if you see this gray bar, that indicates users have bounced from your site or app. If you're analyzing a path into an event, this indicates the start of a session. As you move from one step to the next, you will see where users go. After viewing the video, it looks like this was the most common step. From this step to the next, it looks like these users are continuing to branch out. There are some who moved on and clicked into the product, and some who looked at the Instagram stories on the site. As you continue moving from one step to the next, you will be able to see the most common user journey begin to unravel. If you hover over an event, you will have the ability to exclude that event from the analysis. This is helpful for filtering out events that are too generic or not relevant to the current analysis. Additionally, if you are unsure of what a particular definition is made up of, you can go directly to the definition page from here to ensure you have a full understanding of what it is you are looking at. And finally, once you have built this path analysis the way you desired, be sure to save it as a report.